Now let's take a look at how you can make a home automation control panel for your smartphone, which is the most useful place for any control panel is in your pocket. Uh, lots of people uh, like to mount them on the wall, um, but your home auto isn't really complete until you can control other devices from your phone from anywhere in the world. So we've got a simple, really powerful solution for this using um, Arduino cloud dashboards and the companion remote IoT app, which is free. Um, we can do it in minutes, we can build a smartphone dashboard, so let's uh, have a quick look at how you can do that now. Okay, so if we go over to the screen, here's a dashboard that I made just to represent what it might look like for your home automation system. Uh, we've got various living room controls and various ones for the bedroom. What you would actually have is entirely up to you, of course. Uh, that would depend on what different devices you've added. And if I show you, I've downloaded the uh, Arduino IoT Remote app, uh, and it can load all these dashboards into the app just, just as easily as it does with a desktop. But it takes its best estimation at how to change the layout to make it adaptive. And it does okay for the most part, but you don't necessarily, you can see there's a lot of kind of, there's a lot of blank space at the sides. So if we go back to the screen where we're editing our dashboard. Now it looks great on there. Everything is arranged neatly and it's in two different sections for the living room and the bedroom. But up here, if you look, show mobile layout. Let's switch there and you can see this is what we were just seeing on the mobile screen. We go into edit mode here, arrange widgets. You can now resize all your widgets just for a mobile screen. And you, you may want to shrink some of them down, you may want to rearrange them, put them in a different order. It's all just very much a case of drag and drop. Okay, so you can see how we've rearranged everything here. Now this is only for the mobile layout. If we switch back to desktop, it remembers where everything was. Okay, let's have another look at the phone. And that's refreshing itself now. It'll do that automatically. And as you can see, we have our new layout. So that way you can have one dashboard that you can use from the computer. You may have this, uh, the desktop dashboard on a tablet that you mount on the wall. That's a very popular option but you can use that single dashboard now on your mobile as well and edit the layout so it's much more ergonomic and everything's in the right place. Thanks for watching, go give it a shot.